Key for a start today's Retrobat and Reminiscence setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at Reminiscence today, Retrobat. It's one of those folders that you likely come across in your ROMs directory. You never really give it much thought. So we're reminiscing over the classic flashback game. If you're new to flashback, you don't know what it is. Let's just say it's almost a primitive version of Ape's Odyssey. So what we're going to do is take a look at the folder itself. We've got flashback reminiscence just here, dot zip. If we just go inside of here, we got a flashback folder. Now, the folder we're actually looking for is the data folder. Inside of the data folder, we've got lots of different files here. What we're going to do then with this folder is open up the Retrobat directory, right click on the shortcut, open file location into the ROMs folder. And if we scroll down, we're going to find Reminiscence. Here is Reminiscence. Now, if you don't have the same folder as I've got, what you can do is create a new folder by right-clicking, going to new, and calling it flashback, and then put in your data folder in there. But since mine has already got flashback, I'm going to just drag and drop it inside that simple. Okay, so that's it. What we're going to do next then is open up Retrobat. Okay, so it's very unlikely that you're going to see anything in here. If we go into ports and we just scroll through, We've got nothing here at all. What we need to actually do is quit out of this. What we're then going to do is go back into the Retrobat open file location. And we're going to go back into ROMs. And if we scroll down again, go back to the Reminiscence folder. What we're actually going to do is create a new text document in here. So right click, go to new, and I'm going to use text document just there, notepads for this. What I need to do is rename this to flashback. And then take away the text at the end, so backspace that, and we're going to put R-E-M. Just press enter, and then yes, and then open up Retrobat again. Okay, so this time around, if we go inside of that ports folder, we should then see flashback. Now, it's in the ports folder, of course, but if you want this actually showing in Retrobat rather than going into the ports folder, just open up main menu by pressing the start button. Go down to game collection settings, systems displayed, and if we scroll down to the ports section, disable ports and keep reminiscence checked. If we come out of here and we scroll, we should then see flashback, and here it is, awesome stuff. If we go inside of here, we can open up flashback. Before I do this, press the select button, view options, advanced system options, and we got the usual things going on inside of Retrobat. So we got decorations, game aspect ratio. So I'm guessing this is actually going to display a spore by three. Let's just open up flashback. Okay, if I just quit out of that by pressing my hotkeys. So flashback, I was never any good at it. And I remember a lady back in the day in the early 90s, she used to play this on her Mega Drive. And even back then, it wasn't really my cup of tea, but I know a lot of people like this game. So what we're gonna do, advanced system options. First of all, if we go to game aspect ratio, I'm gonna pop this onto full and that should then give us a full screen. I always suggest put a vertical sync onto yes, that takes away screen tear. 
Now we can put integer scaling on just here, which will kind of blur up the image a little bit. For, for a game like this, some people might actually like that pixelation just for nostalgia. If we go down towards visual rendering, video filters, we can apply some scan lines here, which I know a lot of people like. Let's just put on scan line two times for this. Move games, again, just like integer scaling, by putting this on, pixelation is going to go, which I don't think many people is going to like. And lastly, as always, if you don't have an image, go to drivers, video, and change this over to a different video driver. So for me, it's working fine from Vulcan, but for other people, it might not be the case. If you have any issues with controlling flashback, just go down to controllers and try changing this over. So if I open up the game again with these settings applied, Anyways, that's it for today's Retro Bat and Reminiscence Flashback Setup Guide, so not particularly an awkward one to set up. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. I'll leave pinned in my comments section two playlists for two different types of Retro Bat guides, so one being setup guides for general systems, such as consoles and microcomputers, and the other playlist is general help. Anyways, check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.